everyone welcome back to my channel for you it will have been 24 hours since my last video but for me it was literally two minutes ago because I had such a ball playing with um, my last page that I pulled out some of my bits and bobs that I got from Gift Smiley and I've been looking at them trying to think of some ideas for another page now this is the last page um, that I did just a moment ago and you might spot a difference if you're hawk-eyed and that little sticker I've moved from that top corner just to down there so I kind of thought that was a compromise <laughs> for those of you that were screaming at me not to use that sticker up in that corner I've moved it down there anyway I'm being stupid I'm being stupid so I thought I wanted to work on one of the lighter um, green pages and I've been as I say looking at all the bits and bobs that I've got from Gift Smiley and I, oh, I've got loads of ideas. <laughs> it's just which one to do first. Now this was the top of the this packaging with these gorgeous yellow stickers in and I chopped it off um, to store the stickers somewhere and I just thought that would be lovely on a page. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it but I want to use it and it's encapsulated in um, some cellophane. I don't know why I want to use it, I just do. So that was kind of what I thought I might do with that. Um, I did mention in the previous video that um, I've chopped one of these little labels um, out because I had an idea uh, of something I wanted to do with those. So one of those labels I've chopped out like that. And all I did was I obviously talked one out of the book I trimmed it down um, because my original idea uh, necessitated that it was smaller what I'm going to do with this piece that I've got left um, now is um, not what I originally thought but rather than waste this piece I mean god forbid because I have oodles here I think I get 50 in this little pack but rather than waste it I thought okay I can use that so all I've done is I've punched out the center using um, this punch and I think it's about an inch in diameter so I'm going to use that little piece so I'm going to pop that there and then if you remember I showed you these beautiful little um, postcards or reproduction postcards oh they're just lovely um, and you get, I think you get about 20 of these in the pack. And again, as usual, the description box to give Smiley, um, all the info will be in the description box down below to give Smiley um, their Etsy shop and web page and to the products that I'm referring to. But I wanted to play with one of these. Um, I am going to use them primarily in my junk journaling, but I wanted to use some in this um, little raining woods journal so I chose one of those and because they're quite this journal is quite small as you can see um, you haven't got much wiggle room if I use a whole one of those postcards um, so what I did was I took one and I've just reduced it down in size slightly so I've ripped off the bottom and I've just taken a smidgen off the top and I'm going to use that on my page as well and I particularly chose this one because it hasn't got anything here um, but also because it's got this lovely dark green stamp which even though I'm working on the light green page this time it's going to be opposite this dark green so I quite thought that would would go so I'm going to be using that as well and then the other thing I'm going to be using is one of these specimen card um, stickers that I showed you last time because these fascinated me and I thought I need to do something with those. You do get one or two stickers um, with it uh, to go inside the apertures or what would be the frame. Um, but I'm not going to use one of those because, to be honest, they're all a little bit too big for what I have in mind. Because I want something to go in there. Okay, so what I have done is I've had a look at these butterflies, um, which also again from gift smiley and as you can see you get three packs and i thought one of these would be one of these little end ones here would be big enough um but if i show you they're not um sorry when i say big enough 
oh, never get it right, do I? I mean, they're not they're not small enough. You see, they are just too big for what what I have in mind. And this one is the smallest one, and I love that one. And look, it's just too big. So not a problem. Um, and that one's the same. That must that's the smallest one on that page. So those butterflies as gorgeous as they are they're just too big so they won't do for this project but all is not lost because in this lovely sticker set here there are some gorgeous butterfly images and I thought I'd use butterflies this time around because I've been using a lot of the greenery and I mean look at that one and all of these are just the perfect size for that um, aperture that I've got. So I just have to decide which one I'm going to use. And I'm not going to use that one. That's lovely as well. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. I think I will either use one of these two. So let's have a look at that one or that one. That's that fits although it is a little bit of a squeeze and that one definitely is going to be too big so do I use this one and try and get a butterfly in flight I use it that way okay so it's one of those two um, or do I use that one Okay, so it's one. Of, I've got three options there. So I'm going to pop those to one side and see if that decision comes to me. So I thought that I would try and make a window across the top here in this section up there. So what I thought I would do was use this like so so that I have that like that and then my aperture up up here okay so I'm going to hold that in place and get my glue I'm just going to stick it on my slide as best I can because I will be wanting to punch a hole through this at a later stage so I just want to secure it in place and I know that this is not the the way you should be using these slides but there's nothing to say I can't use it like this and use it as a slide in another video. So that's my idea with that. I have drawn a line across the top of my page here with pencil. As you can see, that's just so that I can, it reminds me that I want to leave a little border of the green all the way round. So that's what that's there for. So I'm thinking I want to put that on there like so. This I want, this one I want to, there's there's a distinct line here and under here and I'm going to use those to line up this here. And what I'm going to do is very, very carefully draw around the inside. Like so. Put a piece of cardstock behind it and punch out that circle.
just by lining it up inside like so I gave it a bit of a challenge <laughs> with that piece of card I chose obviously <laughs> oh that's why because it was double thickness so now when I put this on here and line it up it should marry up perfectly she says now it depends which way round there we go and that marries up perfectly like like that okay so now what I want to do is I want to pop this where I want it on my page like so just going to lift that off. I don't want to glue these two together as yet. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm hoping these are going to be... Is that straight enough? And we're going to repeat the whole process again. On my page. Oh no. So my punch. <laughs> My punch does not have the reach that I want. Okay. So there's no way I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it the hard way and cut it out. using my scissors okay so just bear with me everybody whilst I trim this out not quite going to give me the neatest or the finish I wanted. But it will be hidden to a certain extent. Sorry, I'm right off camera here, aren't I? I'm trying to get as close as I can to it so, so I can see where I'm cutting without getting my head in shot for you guys. Okay. The smoothest of cuts but good enough for what we want because as I say it won't 
necessarily be seen but I would have liked a nicer nicer finish anyway because I know it's there underneath <laughs> daft as that may sound so okay so what I'm thinking is this will go on here like so and then this will go on top like so And I'm getting a piece of something coming through underneath. There we go. So that will go on there like so. And then this one will go on the, the top like so. And hopefully they will all marry up. <laughs> that's, my, that's my plan. That's my plan, Stan. Okay, so now what I want to do is I have a piece of acetate to one side and I'm going to cut a square so what I think I will do is I will glue it first so very very gently get some glue on here I'm hoping against hope that it's not going to do what it did last time when we made the other little specimen tag thingy thingy me jig with the hydrange throughout the garden and smudge all over the place. Um, so lesson learnt with that one. So that I'm just going to pop on there like so. just working all the way round and now I can chop that away so now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the head of that packaging from those yellow stickers don't I to see if I can come up with a, a plan for that. I don't know why I wanted to use that. It just it was a bit like the die cut on that previous page back here. You know, I kind of saw it and just wanted wanted to make use of it. So I did. Um, but I have um I have a box off to one side with my bits and bobs that um, I'm using in this this little challenge of mine, and. Um, <laughs> It's getting bigger and bigger, quite frankly. So that is my acetate there. And I'm going to now stick down. I can take off the backing off my sticker. Like so. She says. Come on. Oh, these don't want to come off. Could you just talk amongst yourselves for a minute or two? <laughs> oh, here we go. Phew. Gah. Do you know, apoplexy sometimes doing this crafting. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. So, again, some... Glue just on the edges where it's paper and not sticker. And I'm just going to try and stay desperately stay in camera in frame for you and line that up like so.
smidgen more glue down this side, I think. This is my frame to go on the top, like so. And you know, it popped into my head then to use my um, my equivalent of the Tim Holtz tiny attacher then, but I know I haven't got any staples in it. Oh, that would have been a shame. I just fancied using that then. Oh, actually, maybe it's just as well that I didn't, because I'm sure that is an oriental journaling, even though this probably isn't. So I'm kind of thinking I'm doing that. I will figure out something for on the reverse side of, of that, everybody. Um, it may well be that I put a piece of vegetation, um, a sticker, up here so that it peeps through and actually adds some more interest on, on that page. Okay, now, decision time, because I am trying to do less is more and I need to decide which of my images I think I... I love this um, image at the end here of a fern and I think I'm going to put that up there on that edge. I, I just, I love it. So I think I want to do that. So I'm going to, as always, very quickly cut that down a little bit. And I think that is going to help me decide, let me just get rid of the bulk. I think that's going to help me decide what I want to do um, in that main aperture. And I have to say I'm loving these stickers. I wasn't sure at first because you heard me say that they were a little bit shiny um, but actually they just they really blend into the page really well. Um, they're not as intrusive as I thought they were going to be and I really am enjoying using them. I think it's m it's partially that but also partially that the images are just so lovely. I'll just get rid of that little bit off there. Um, the images are lovely and I adore ferns so I'm enjoying using them. Mustn't lose that little bit because there's a tiny little leaf on there. That would be beautiful on something else. So just yeah, I'm happy with that. Just gonna snip off the bottom a little bit. There we go. There I've got my tweezers. Somebody asked me the other day why I always use tweezers. Um, it's because I've got chubby mitts <laughs> and it's easier for me to use a pair of tweezers than it is to try and use my fingers, to be honest. So that's why I find it, I just find it easier and I'm just 
going to pop that up there. I've not finished playing, <laughs> you can tell, can't you? So I could have that butterfly in there. I could go with that one. Or I could go with that one. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking this one. It's, um, I do find it a little bit difficult when they're on the sheet to decide. Well, I find it difficult to decide, full stop, don't I? Um, but you know what I mean. It's it's when everything else is around and about. Whoops, a daisy, nearly chopped that bit off. Um, where the other bits are around and about, it's a little bit distracting. So I'm hoping that I've made the right choice here and... I don't feel the need to chop out one of the other butterflies. Now there's tiny, tiny little legs on this butterfly and it's antennae and I am not, I'm not going to cut round those um, as if I was fussy cutting. I'm just trying to, as I've said before, just reduce some of the... Um, some of the plastic that's around. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. What I'm going to do, I'm frantically looking around my desk here. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to get hold of my clip because I don't want that pinging off the page if I can help it. Okay, I think, sorry guys, I think I I have the need to, um, ooh, I'm liking that on the bottom. Sorry, I'm picking, I'm looking at this bit along here that says freedom. I think, ooh, got distracted there. I like that butterfly, I do, but I'm wondering about that one because it's got hints of, of green. Or do I want that one? Mm. Do you know, I think I'm liking that one. Yep, yeah, that's the one. So if you're if you want to go and grab a cup of coffee or <laughs> make yourself a quick cuppa <laughs> whilst I'm um, chopping out again it's a bit like inking isn't it you know everybody always seems to spend half their lives when we're doing things inking <laughs> and I know it drives some people absolutely demented um, seeing people ink and in, and I think you know a few of them say well it's like you can never get that 20 minutes back in your life watching somebody just ink round the edge of a, a card or a page um, when they're journaling <laughs> it doesn't bother me because um, I just fast forward to be honest if and if I knew how to fast forward and edit I would do that myself for you but if not just run off and quickly pop the kettle on make yourself a little cup of tea and you won't have missed anything by the time you get back, trust me. You know, I'll still be here dithering and faffing. Anyway, that is my little butterfly. And I'm just going to peel that off. Grab my tweezers. And see if I can get that centred on there without too much. Ooh, you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to get up close and personal to this, this one, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I hope you didn't get a back of a headshot there. I really hope you didn't. There we go. Yeah. 
like that, like it. So I kind of thought I could do that down there. And that says, let's see what it says, glasses down. It says eternity. So I could do that down there. Nope, not liking the look of that. I could pop it up there. I think that might make it all look a little bit too fussy. I did like that leaf when I was playing with it because this is um, like a browner colour. Brown. Um, and whereas all the rest is green, this is like a, um, a parchmenty colour. And I just thought that might just soften that little bit up down there. So I think I might go with that. Now where was that other piece that I liked? I quite liked that, didn't I? So I could, I could, I could, I could. I could go with freedom down there. That's what it says. And it looks like a piece of lace. And that would, those squiggles and this would soften up that edge and bring the eye down. I'm thinking anyway. Listen to me, as if I know what I'm talking about, quite frankly. Um, or I could just pop it on there, like so. Ooh. Okay. Gosh, you lot are good letting me dither and... So I think... I like that. I like it there. Um, it's just... I think it's just softening up. Yeah, I'm like it. I'm like it's softening up that little bit, which is um, what I have a feel I need to do. So again, dig out the, the scissors, and the, this one should be quicker. Wouldn't be so much fun if I did all the forward planning and prepped it all beforehand, would it? as bad as that red tape for the backing trying to shake that shake it off yeah I'm liking that okay not quite less is more but I still don't mind it I think if I have my time round again where this one um I took it up fairly high here because I, th I thought it might be quite nice if it just encroached slightly into that circle. But actually now, if I had my time again, I think I would drop it down a little bit so that this top bit was round about here. So it didn't quite look so fussy in this area, but it's stuck on there now. So I don't really stand hope in hell's chance of getting that off. Um, and I'm certainly not going to risk it on camera, folks. <laughs> Gonna, 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 gonna do this little leaf. It's very cute. It's a good job that these stickers do. Certainly, these come off really easy. Whoops, a daisy, she says. Because you're cutting them so small that. It would be a bit of a pain, I think. Okay. And I just feel I want to do one more thing. And I'm, I love these dotty circles in this um, in this sticker set. I really do. Um, because they're just a soft green and it just gives you that touch of colour or I think on the page that I'm looking for and because it's dots rather than a solid line it's soft again you all think I'm getting obsessed with dots don't you Mm, 
we go. Certainly after those washy, oriental washy dots. Can't leave those alone either, can I? Okay. Is this one going to come off? Yep, there we go. Feeling that I'm wanting to put it here. Yeah, that's where it's got to go. Okay, guys, so that's my page. I am going to walk away. Just got a fraction scissors. There we go. So I've got my aperture there, as you can see. And my vegetation coming down. There we go. That's my page for today. Hope you like it, everybody. Not quite oriental minimalistic <laughs> again, but never mind. I can live with that. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> so I'm looking at this on here. Oh. Walk away, Carol, walk away. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I'm going to call it a day there and um, see how we get on another day. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.